Hey YouTube, I want to show you guys another knife today. This is a, another discontinued Kershaw. This is the gray Kershaw Cyclone. It's aluminum gray handles. Pocket clip for right side, tip up and tip down, carry only. It's got a lanyard hole. Um, dual thumb studs. It's kind of like the zero tolerances as it's got the little hex bolt on the back keep it from uh, spinning when you tighten the pivot you can see uh, it's sealed in the back with a backspacer and it is an assisted open opens really fast liner lock locks up nice and solid no blade play the cool thing and different thing about this knife is since it is assisted, it has a switch right here, push down, and now it's a manual open. And you can see that lines up real nice and extremely smooth manual opening. This thing surprised me quite a bit. You have this extremely smooth manual opening when the switch is off. And you have to do it when the blade's open um, because it's when the spring is not under tension. So now you could uh, flip it on. Now the assisted is, is uh, enabled and ready to be charged, I guess. You can see that it's, it's all free here and it actually doesn't start building tension until about halfway. You can see the the assisted holds the blade in. It comes out really fast, but it's actually real easy to close, even though it's assisted. And I know a lot of those um, bigger bladed assisted knives are hard to close because you know the spring's so strong, trying that because has to fling open such a big blade. But not on this one. It's easy to close and it flings open really fast. Look at that. And then, like I like, flip the switch down, manual. Really fast, nice manual. The only problem when it's in manual is now the detent's not very good. And you could just fling the blade open with your hand. Pocket clip's kind of goofy, holds holds it in your pocket well, but you can see quite a bit still sticks out if if that's a problem for you. Um, this is a big knife. Here's a zero tolerance 301, and you can see uh, not quite as big, but actually pretty close in size to the ZT 301. It has jimping right here on the back that sticks up slightly above the aluminum scales and it feels really good. Um, it's placed about perfect for me. That's probably where I would uh, hold the knife. So I like that. And since it is a flipper it does have a guard to keep you from uh, sliding up if you're doing like penetrating cuts. Um, this has the older Sandvik steel, it's 13, 28 in or something like that. I'll, I'll put it in the description, I don't remember exact exact name. But uh, it does rust and I, this knife has gotten rust on it already. And um, you could clean it off, you know, with some flits or um, pretty much anything designed for the, for polishing metal. You just have to do it before it gets too bad. Um, you can see it's made in the USA. Maybe you can see, I don't know. And it's a Ken Onion design. And this is an older discontinued knife. This one was manufactured in September 06. You can see it's model number 1630 and it's the gray version. This is one of those cursed jaws that I wish they never discontinued. Um, I like it because it has the option for manual 
or the assist when you do want it. And this assist is probably one of the fav my favorites. I'm, I'm not a fan of assisted blades, but as far as this one goes, it's probably one of my favorites because I like how it doesn't have tension right away and it's not like you're trying to fight it up here. You don't have to fight it till you're here and you could use your thumb, which has a lot more power than, than your finger does up here. Get out of here, kitty. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so when it it's easy to close because the assist doesn't actually, or the spring doesn't actually get tension till about right here, and it doesn't have a lot of tension, which you would think it would open really uh, weak because of that, but nope, flies out like a rocket. No problems. And then, uh, extremely smooth, just like butter. This knife feels really good in reverse grip as well. Don't usually show that because I don't use that too much. Actually, most of my cutting, for some reason, tends to be pull cuts where I'm holding it more like this and pulling. Um... I don't know. Yes, it was just the type of stuff I do. You could open this knife many different ways. Really smooth. But yep, this is the Kershaw Cyclone. 1630, I believe. Yep, 1630. Just wanted to show you guys. Really good one. Hope Kershaw brings this back someday and the high-end steel and maybe some tie handles. I know they did offer a titanium frame lock version, which is super rare. Um, hopefully they bring that one back. That'd be nice. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.